Hello, welcome to your video on circles. Um, we will be talking about how to find the circumference and area of a circle. So that is your essential question. Words to know. There are a lot of them. So here we go. Um, a circumference is the perimeter of a circle. Um, the distance around a circle. So I'm going to draw a circle here for you. Okay, here's my circle. Um, and the circumference is the distance around it. So what looks like this grayish, whitish border, um, that is the circumference of a circle. Area of a circle is the space inside the circle. Um, in this example, it is the purplish color, um, the area inside, the space inside. Um, please note that it is always measured in squared units, so your label will always be squared. And we'll talk more about that when we start solving the problems. Um, center of a circle is the exact middle um, I can kind of estimate it for you. Um, it'll be something like right there. Um, but there will, typically there's a dot that signifies that point. Um, but the center of the circle. Um, then diameter is the distance from one side of the circle through the center to the other side. Um, so if this is my center of my circle, um, the diameter then would be the line going from one side through the center to the other side. Um, and that there's tons and tons of different diameters. It can be any of these as long as it goes one side through the center to the other. Um, in other words, it is the distance across your circle. Then we have radius. The radius is um, the distance from the center of your circle to the outside. So if here's your center, okay, it's going from that center to the outside. Um, and again, that can be many different ones as well. Um, but going from the center to the outside is the radius. Last one is a chord that is a straight line from one point on the circle to another, but it does not go through the center. So let me get rid of this stuff. Um, what the chord is, if here's your center, the chord is a straight line, okay, and it just doesn't go through the center. So that's an example of a chord. This is an example of a chord. This is a chord. Anything as long as it doesn't go through the center and is a straight line. Let's now talk about how to find the radius of a circle. Um, the radius, if you remember from the definition, is from the center to the edge. Um, so as you can see, it is half of the diameter. Um, and so that's exactly what it means. Radius equals your diameter divided by 2, or you could also say 1 half times d, either way. Um, so to solve this one, r equals 11 divided by 2, so your radius is 5 and a half, and then you need to label it 5 and a half feet. Same thing when you're finding the diameter. Um, in this picture, okay, the radius is halfway, so the diameter, we're extending it all the way across and to do that okay we're taking two of our radius so di diameter equals two times your radii um, so d equals two times eight so diameter is sixteen and then you need your label sixteen centimeters finding circumference now we're getting a little bit more serious on this math stuff. So here we go. Um, our first circle that we have here, the radius is 2 inches. That's what the little um, quotation mark looking thing is. It stands for inches. Um, so 
When we find the circumference, we have to know the formula first. And I believe it, the formula is found in your planner on page 15, but circumference equals pi times diameter. Um, in other words, 3.14 times your diameter. And that will give you your answer for your circle. Um, so we are going to do the first one here with a radius of 2. So C equals pi times diameter. Well, red flag should go off there because we're not talking about the diameter. We're talking about the radius. So we're going to have to um, substitute in for the diameter. And I know that if my radius is 2 inches, then my diameter is doubling that, which means the diameter is 4. So we're multiplying by 2. Um, so C equals 3.14 times 4. And that's just going to be math for you that you're going to have to work out. Hopefully you remember how to multiply decimals. Um, and you will get an answer of C equals 12 and 56 hundredths. And then you need to keep your label. We're talking about inches here. There's your answer for that problem. Same thing for this one. Now we're given the diameter. It's 9 centimeters. So this makes solving our problem a little bit faster because we don't have that extra step. We just have pi times diameter. So circumference equals pi, which is 3.14, times diameter of 9. And you're just going to have to do some math. But you calculate it out. You get 28 and 26 hundredths. Hopefully I'm doing this right. You can always double check me. I hope that you are. Um, and then your label is centimeters. Um, so there is your answer to those two. Finding area. In order to do that, um, you need to know the formula for the area of a circle, which is A equals area equals pi r squared. This can be found in your planner on page 15. In other words, 3.14 times r squared. Order of operations, you have to do r squared first before you multiply by 3.14. Um, so here's my two examples for you. First one, um, a equals 3.14 times r, which is 2 squared. So 3.14 times 4. And that will give you an answer of 12 and 56 hundredths. Now you need to label inches squared. Area is always labeled with a squared symbol, an exponent of 2. Second problem, diameter is 9 centimeters, um, but area is always talking about radius, so we need to find the radius. Radius is halfway, which means the radius is 3 centimeters, and we will use that to solve it. So 3.14 times radius is 3 squared. 3.14 times 9, which is 28 and 26 hundredths centimeters squared. Now you might notice that the previous ones on circumference and then these ones on area have exactly the same numbers. Um, that is pretty much true. The numbers are the same. The labels are different, which means your answer is different. Um, but it is a unique um, circumstance. It sometimes happens, not always, that the numbers will be the same for their circumference and the area. So just a coincidence. Um, sometimes they will be, sometimes they won't be. All right, your turn to prove that you've learned this stuff. Um, number one, what is the radius of a circle when the diameter is three yards? And number two, what is the circumference and area for a circle with a diameter of 12 yards? Um, go ahead and make sure you're showing all your work, solve this, and then check in with me when you're done for the answers. All right, answers. Radius is one and a half yards. The number two is circumference is 37 and 68 hundredths yards. 
area is 113 and 4 hundredths yards squared. Make sure you have that label appropriate. Um, if you did not get these answers, go back and fix it so that you do showing your work. Um, and if you still can't do that, then be sure to ask the questions in class. Thank you for watching. It is the end of your video. Please put a star above the word summary. I will be looking for that, so make sure you have that on your notes if you're looking for full credit. Have a great day. And stay awesome.